Welcome to my home. It is Christmas time, and so I thought I would talk about walking on water. And what I'm doing right now is jumping on water. Not just the snow here, which is water, but I'm actually standing on the lake outside the house where I grew up. So welcome. There's a lot of things we could talk about having to do with lakes and freezing water and stuff. And, but mostly I thought I'd talk about a couple interesting things that happened on this very lake just in the past few weeks. If we dig down here underneath the snow, you get to ice. And then you can't dig anymore. Alright, so let's do that. Okay, so as we dig down, we find ice. Alright. You can see that the ice is all rough. It's not nice and smooth or anything like this, so it would be terrible to skate on. So we've got rough ice here, and that's because there was actually water on top of the ice when it froze like this to make it all rough, a slush. It was snow and water on top of the ice. But how did it get there is an interesting thing. It's not that the sun shone down and melted the top of the ice or that the air was warm enough to melt the top of the ice. It was actually that the weight of the snow pushed the ice down so that water underneath crept up through cracks in the ice and, 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 and poured out on top of the surface of the lake. So the whole lake was covered with snow and under the snow is this really wet slush and then under that was the ice. And then of course it eventually froze that way. So of course now we've got a nasty skating rink. In fact we have no skating rink at all and we've got to find out a different way to make a nice skating rink so my cousins, my nephews can play hockey. When the snow pushed down on the ice it actually sagged and that's a common theme and you normally think of the surface of a lake, of a frozen lake to be flat, right? But it actually bows underneath weight just like if you walked across a board, a long board, it would sag in the middle. Well if you drive a car or even walk across ice it will sag a little bit which is good because if it didn't sag at all it would probably just break. Okay, so because it sags, it can support more weight. But if you drill a hole down in the ice, you can see the water level. So say you're ice fishing, all right? And then if you're sitting there fishing on the ice and a car drives by, the water in the hole goes oh, oh, and bounces up and down really wildly. Okay, and that's not because the water level and the pressure under there is going up and down all that great. What's really happening is you are riding the ice as it moves up and down. It's kind of hard to feel, but you can actually see it in the hole in the ice going up and down. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, so, uh, it's not skating because we already saw the ice is really nasty, but we want to talk really quickly about skating. And the idea with skating is that you have these skates, little tiny strips of metal contacting the ice, and you have very little friction as you skate along. And I wanted to talk about how that works, but we don't really know. All we know is that water, when it's frozen, usually has a little tiny surface of, of of liquid on top of the ice uh, and that helps it somewhat but it can't account for all of the fact that that just ice is not very it doesn't have very much friction at all and so you can skate around really well on it you could talk about the pressure of the skate trying to melt the ice but they found that that's not really the thing at all uh, and it turns out that the optimal temperature for skating is around oh I think 17 or 18 degrees Fahrenheit uh, so you can skate around and that's the best least amount of friction uh, but when it gets cold enough, even that thin layer of water that's there, just because the ice molecules don't like to be by themselves and exposed to air, that thin layer of water there goes away when you get to 20 below, uh, which is pretty cold, uh, but you can still skate even then. So we're not really sure why skating works, but it is fun. And in lieu of actually having decent ice to skate on, I just get to slide around. Okay, this is uh, Dr. Carlson. Signing off from the Northland. My camera port person is all frozen. We gotta go in. But I thought uh, I'd make one last uh, snow angel and say goodbye. Voila! That's a good take. <laughs>